All right, here's one that I've been waiting on a sunny day, and I, overcast seems to be the best we can get lately, so hopefully the color comes through. Uh, been real excited about this truck. I just think it's a great looking truck. 2017 Peterbilt 389, 300 inch wheelbase, uh, 550 Cummins, 18 speed transmission, low, low air leaf suspension on the rear with an air ride front end with the with the five inch drop car hauler front axle. Um, this truck's gonna have the lowest stance from the factory that you can get. Uh, it's just gonna sit nice, look cool. Um, and it's in that, in the new legendary black color. It's got a lot of gorgeous silver and gold flake in it. I'll show you that here in just a second. Bridgestones all the way around, low pro 24s, uh, 336 rears, uh, three axle disc brakes, shot of the disc there, again the disc brakes, almost zero maintenance, they'll go, I've seen them go well over 700,000 miles. Um, Keep an eye on the pads. Don't don't goof up a rotor. You'll, pro you'll probably never put rotors on this truck, and you might put one set of pads. Holland FW thirty five fifth wheel. Uh, with this truck, uh, depending on what you're doing, the, the little triangles here, the legs. I stock all those legs. I can change it to get the fifth wheel height you want. Uh, everybody's going to need somewhere from a forty eight to a fifty two. So. We can get there if, if what's on there doesn't work. 30 inch Hodge built quarter fenders, uh, deep drop, polished. Uh, with with the Peterbilt choppers, I think it's just a, a classic timeless little look there. Don't know that I'd have it any other way. And I've got quarter and half fenders. Uh, uh, if we want to take these off and do something else, I can make just about anything happen. Uh, six flush mount lights in the rear see the antenna at the top above the window move the antenna to the back to keep it off the mirrors and just give it a cleaner look uh, just trying to keep everything nice and neat and clean you'll look here because it is a 300 inch uh, a, a huge portion of this frame is a double frame uh, anything over 280 is going to have at least an insert in it Polished 110 gallon fuel tank with polished straps. And I always do, I always do the locking caps. It's only a $17 upgrade. And well worth it when, when the caps alone are over $100. Um, the sun's trying to peek out here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. The on the edge to see the flake in this. When this first truck first came in, I did a short little video, and, and that, that day it was sunny. You can see it there. Polished F tank cover. Polished stainless uh, elbows on the exhaust. That's one of those things not everybody does, and. I do a big battery disconnect here. That master switch will kill power to everything. Plus it's got the holes in it. You can uh, put a lock on it if it's gonna sit idle for a while. Seven inch straight miter cuts. It's the biggest you can get from the factory. Uh, kinda see the flake on this edge here. From my view, you can really see it in the door right now. Uh, lots of gold and silver, just just a neat color. I hope I hope they come out with some more legendary colors. Phoenix LED light kit, uh, polished step box, polished air tank, the premium 14 inch or 15 inch air cleaners. Show you one other thing here. All of my lights, whether it's the air cleaners 
for the uh, cabin sleeper lights. They're all on a factory harness. All weather seal connectors. I'd rather have it done at the factory. And there's not a butt connector or, or a taped up wire on here anywhere. Peek in the storage here. There's the uh, subwoofer and amplifier for the stereo. Um, little shot of the uh, platinum interior there. You can see the wood grain on the on the closet door. And on the uh, control center from the sleeper there. We'll look at that here in a minute. I'll show you what, what those headlight boxes are. Front and rear air cleaner lights polished stainless heated mirrors, heated spotlights, or spot mirrors. Alcoa level one wheels. got that strip that lights up projector style bulbs just a neat touch the black smoke lens um, you can see the little orange dots there they light up kind of looks like a like an Audi headlight when the turn signals are on <laughs> 20 inch blind mount uh, boxed in bumper. Uh, I do that a lot on my on my flat tops. Polished surround. You see up there lit up. I've gone to the to the clear lenses. Uh, I do add two two rift lights. Uh, I do that when I have the headliner out, putting the uh, blind mount drop visor on there. It's not a factory visor. I put that on in my shop afterwards. Polished step box, some more of that light kit. You see that little light sticking out down there. Lighted entry step on both sides. Polished tank and straps, another 135 gallon tank. Polished sleeper vents. You know, on this side in the shade, it just looks like a just a mere finish, flawless black. Um, but that sun sun on the other side, when it hits it, man, the flake just really pops out. Kind of see it in the front. Five fifty Cummins, eighteen fifty torque, heated fuel filter. All of the fuel lines are, are Arctic wrap. So uh, for you guys that run up north, that's that's a pretty important item to have. Uh, disc brakes, the cab, the sleeper, the floors, the walls, the ceiling, all have the extra insulation in them. Uh, not a lot of money. Uh, it's great for the winter. The number one place you'll notice where that comes in handy is in the summer. It really helps keep the inside of that cab cool, especially this thing being black, running across the desert in the middle of the summer. It's, you want all the help you can get. You'll see that uh, plug there on that harness. That is for fog lights or road lights. If you want anything like that, 
that weather seal connector is there. It's already hooked to a switch in the dash. It's ready to go. open the door here and you notice it doesn't open all the way there's kind of a there's a stop here it's a door stop put a little pressure on it and it opens up wider that's so uh, if the wind grabs it doesn't throw it into the air cleaner it's got a nice little thing to have wind but full rosewood dash so we don't have to hear the dinger there smart nav 23 total gauges 17 bright bezel gauges um, Bluetooth, MP3, hands-free phone, uh, just all your stuff, all your modern amenities with the 2017 radio. Uh, nice shot of that visor. Factory CB. Uh, I always put these in for about the price of the CB. It comes back, you know, wired in on a factory harness, and it's in that nice surround. Uh, it's a uh, it's a no brainer to me. Tan carpet front to back. Black seats. It's got the nice two tone headliner. Uh, they call this interior color Sahara tan. Microphone for the. Uh, hands-free phone when the windows locks mirrors platinum moniker there at the on that storage on the bunk dual closets She's out there, you know, to haul that frame. Um, I've, I've got frame covers, um, all kinds of plates, and uh, if you want to do anything there, um, easy enough to do to make that happen. Storage on both sides above the closets. this truck has the uh, Sears Atlas 80 series seats um, probably the nicest seat you can put in them from the factory uh, I've got every seat imaginable uh, if you don't like these we'll swap them out for something else if you think this truck or any of my other trucks would look good in your fleet never hesitate to call or text me 918-808-5638 Subscribe to this page. Um, I've got a lot of new inventory coming soon, a lot of videos to upload. Um, you can catch me on Facebook, Peterbilt Steve, and Instagram at Peterbilt Steve. Uh, if you've got questions about financing, trades, all that stuff, we can handle it. Uh, I deliver. Uh, we, we can, we can uh, arrange financing and handle it all, and I can have this truck delivered. I'm 10 miles from a major airport. Be more than happy to pick you up. And, uh, uh, and as you know, and I'll always answer any questions that you've got. So 918-808-5638 and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Appreciate it. Thanks.